Okay, so two things that I wanna share with you guys, super important for me. First thing is the health update. As many of you know, I've been having slight pains and strains in the side for months, uh, diagnosed with possibly fatty liver, um, high blood pressure, lesion on the liver, you know, all the rest. This led to me getting ultrasounds, then a CT scan just a week or so ago. And I have my final doctor's appointment this Tuesday to really determine what's going on. But like most of us nowadays, I have access to the MyChart results. And what they seem to show is this small cyst on the liver, a small cyst on the kidney. These don't seem to be too big of a deal. Sending them to doctors, friends, or people I trust in the medical field, looking at the results saying, hey, this is normal, it could just be fluid. Also, there's a slight chance of an umbilical hernia right here on the side, which may be why there's tension. But personally, it all feels fine. I switched up the diet, lost about 30 pounds in about you know three to four weeks. Uh, wifey got me eating very healthy, amen. I just wanna say thank you to those who've been praying and checking in on me. It means so much, God bless you. And the second thing, which is also very important, is that I've been so busy doing all sorts of ministry, traveling around America these past few months, but what I've not been doing is raising support. Um, as many as you know, in 2013, I really stepped out full time saying, okay, Lord, you've been opening these doors. If this is you, continue on. I'm gonna speak wherever, go wherever, you know, share, teach, train, do missions. God faithfully just blessed that. And the focus was really on evangelism and missions, teaching and reaching people, all these churches, conferences, you know, marriage events, men's events, youth. And I say this, because even giving you a health update, my schedule through to the next year is already getting booked up. And we read about people who are called to these kind of offices, like in 1 Corinthians 9, 14, where we're told that the Lord has commanded that those who do the work of the gospel should get their living from the gospel. Meaning that some are specifically called to certain offices, even in Ephesians 4, 11, that Christ gave the apostles, gave the prophets, gave evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Why? To equip his people for the works of service. Certain people are put there to encourage, motivate, and call. And that's been how my life has been since coming to faith. A heavy focus on evangelism or in the pulpit, on missions to equip the body of Christ for works of service. I say all of this because none of this has slowed down. It's only accelerated and gotten more consistent. So what do I do? Well, with so many things coming up, I don't ask for something before I go. I don't say if you can give me this or offer that. I don't view ministry as a job. It's a work, but it's not a job. I don't have a consistent salary. I don't get paid from here or there. I'm not on staff. I'm basically a parachurch ministry, and I live into just believing that since I came to faith, people I've partnered with have believed and saw the fruit and said, Brian, we'll come alongside. So if that's you, you've been walking with me alongside for some time. If you've seen the gospel going out, if you believe this is an office and a call, I'm asking you um, to pray about seriously partnering with me. 2013, it was one thing, but today I'm like, Lord, I'm going until you return or whatever. I do weekly podcasts, I sit with people and counsel them. I have all kinds of things I'm doing all the time, but the main focus is missions, marriages, ministry. And Paul built tents at a time for a reason, but once funded, he didn't do that again. We see in the book of Acts, they had other people tending tables and they were focused on prayer and the work of ministry. And my days, my weeks, it's all focused on planning, praying, preparing, and presenting. I partner with a lot of churches, a lot of people, but I've been lagging on fundraising because it's just me. I'm so thankful for my home church who understands this office and says, Brian, we believe this is a call, but I'm asking some of you, to say we're gonna pray and believe and consider being monthly partners so I can focus fully on the call. It's sad that only 8% of evangelists fulfill their ministry because most of the time is spent raising support, sitting with people, asking for this, asking for that. For me, I wanna just go and say, Lord, you use however. I wanna train up and encourage other people to do the work of an evangelist. So 
Uh, pray for health. I believe it's all good that those things are nothing. But pray about really becoming a partner. And you can find out more at briansumner.net or at the link in the bio. Hit me up with messages, concerns, and guys, God bless you. It's been amazing these past, what, since 2004, just meeting so many people, so many believers. If you don't know the Lord, pick up the Bible, get to know him, the living God. Confess your sins and come to faith. He's amazing. Hey, let's go in Jesus' name. Love you guys. God bless.